Well, let's see. What are we going to be fixing on this piece of ship bike today? I guess it does look like this needs fixing, doesn't it? Is it fixable? So what do we got here? That's where it should be. Let's just call that 13 inches. And that's where it is. So let's just call that 10. So this thing dangling three inches. I know for a lot of you, juice cult members, three inches is all, you, all you've got to deal with. <laughs> so let's get this thing off of here. And see if we can disassemble it, gut it, and fix it. If not, there's a link in the description to where we're going to buy a new one. Okay. All right, let's get it on the bench and let's tear this apart. Okay, so for whatever it's worth, if you're Googling, right there, there's a J-A-I dot J dot Q. I'm guessing that is a manufacturer's uh, imprint. Now I can see down inside here, if you look up in there, and there's a spring, much like that spring in your fork, big old heavy steel wound spring, but it's not, it's just floating around inside there. Okay, here's what I'm feeling and seeing. I'm seeing that spring inside there move back and forth like this. It's got all kinds of sloppy play in there. I think that's what we got. We got a spring in here and you got this thing pivoting and it's not pivoting good. So we're gonna drill this out and go inside deeper. Let's see if we can get that rivet. Let's see if that rivet will. That was easy. That was easy. All right. There we go. But now let's see what is inside here. There is that. There is your spring. And that's it. Nothing to it. Except, okay, so when the kickstand's moving back and forth, the spring is just flopping back and forth like this. There's nothing smooth, depending on the position of the end of the spring, it's not, it's grabbing on there and twisting around and making it all effed up. But in order to replace the rivet, we're going to be using a quarter inch Looks like seven sixteenths by about an inch and a half, a lock washer, and a nylon insert. We'll put the nylon nut there and the lock nut on the inside. So this is what you're going to be seeing from there. Because here's the deal, this is flexing around inside there. I want it to stay still, but just be springy. And I got an idea. All right, remember the, the grips that came on the Hyper Scorpion? That's right, the three finger grips, because the hand, the grips are made for Asian children. Cheapest, smallest things they get. This is nothing more than putting lipstick on a pig. Everything fits good. And that locks. Uh, and that spring fucking twisted. 
I don't know if that's going to work. Ugh, I can't get it open now, bitch. Spring is way out of place. Fuck. Okay. I'm running out of ideas. I can tell that this is a very cheaply, poorly designed kickstand. But what I'm thinking here is the surface that the spring sits inside the receiver, the way that the springs were wound and not ground down smooth. In other words, see the little reflective part right there? I can put that on the grinder, so now that's smooth. Same on both sides. I'm wondering if that might help the action of the uh, kickstand to go back and forth like this. I think grinding that spring down really helped. I think I'm onto a solution, or at least I think I'd know what the problem is. And the problem is, again, that this spring goes back and forth, and it just needs to go up and down based on this opening and closing. So what you can see here, I've got a thicker spacer on the that side there. I'm gonna put another one on that side. I'm getting closer, I think. And here's what I'm using. I'm just cutting up rubber shims off of the rubber little girl's hand grips. Go on the other side. Yeah, that's it. All right, so that's what I'm thinking this time. So I've cut the handlebar grips up and I got a little rubber bush in there, and a little rubber bush in there. Keep the spring from, you know, wobbling back and forth like that. I think that helped. I think those rubber bushings, boom, that's tight. Locked up, still got a little bit of play. I'm kind of thinking that was normal. <laughs> As that fuckbag Raphael would say, oh, that's normal. And so I can already see that the uh, bushings are going to want to slide out. So I'm going to put some quick seal silicone in there to make sure that they don't move. And then we're going to put this back together and wait 24 hours for everything to set up and give it a test. Okay, cleaned it up. So I really don't have a problem putting this all back together right now and wait for that caulk to set up and dry in 24 hours or more since it is 34 degrees in the garage. Oh yeah, look at that. I like it. That should stay together. All right, cross your fingers. If this works, I'll post the video. I think that's the best shot we got. All right, it's all mounted back up. I'm waiting for that silicone to dry, but look at that. Quiet. I got rid of half of the wobble. Oh man, what a piece of shit bike this is. <clears throat> All right, man, that's it. 
I gotta go. I'm out of here. See ya.